So the new version of Blender just dropped and it's the version 4.5 beta and uh, the version is pretty good. It is supposed to bring some major quality of life improvements to Blender such as better and faster liquid simulations, real time updating UVs in the UV editor and even VDB export supported natively within the Blender. And while these are major changes within the Blender, I will say that you should still hold on to your older version and there are few reasons why. So within this video, we are going to discuss whether you should stick to your current version of Blender or you should update to your next version 4.5. So without any further ado, let's begin. Within this update, we are also brought with a lot of UI updates and these updates are pretty great as well. To be honest, these updates almost made me switch to this new version of Blender. And so the major updates are such as snapping of everything and anything within the viewport. So now within the viewport, you can actually snap anything. And if you just like split the screen, you will actually have a snapping point right in the middle, like here. So this makes everything work way more systematically. And this is pretty great because now you have snapping points and everything looks way more systematic and way more TD. So yeah, this is pretty great. But not only this, they also added snapping of Cree frames. And they also added real-time updating UVs within the UV editor. I don't know how, like, I cannot just tell you this, but this is so much more useful than what it was before. Up until the point of Unreal Engine 4.0, you did not have this UV updating. But now, this works flawlessly. If you click on any object, not only do you get the UV updated immediately, but you also see the topology of that object much better. And this is a major quality of life improvement for those who work on modeling and texturing. I have been making this model of the bike for the Rampage Rally uh, competition. And yeah, this thing is going to work in my favor a lot more. So yeah, these are some major changes with the user interface of Blender. And I think that is really great. Now, the third major change to this Blender 4.5 is the addition of VDB export natively within Blender. And this is pretty huge because before we had to actually use add-ons in order to be able to export VDBs. And for those of us who make things inside Blender and then export them to maybe our game engines such as Unreal or Unity, this will be made much easier with this newer version that has integrated VDB export. Because now you can make animations of explosions and volumetrics within Blender which are going to look significantly better and then you can just export them to Unreal Engine or Unity. But not only this, they have also added faster rigging for vehicles in this version. You can actually get their vehicle rigging add-on from the get add-ons section. And yeah, that is pretty huge as well because this will make the whole process of rigging vehicles significantly faster. And if you are like me and you are also working on your Rampage Rally animation for the competition, might want to look into this new add-on as well. So yeah, this is pretty huge. But this pretty much brings me to the end of the good things of this uh, version of Blender. And this is the part where I tell you why you should might not upgrade to this newer version. And that brings me to my point, Vulkan support. Now the thing is that this is supposed to make Blender much faster as it's supposed to make Blender be able to use the max potential of our CPU. But I tried this Vulkan setting in my project and the project couldn't even load and ended up crashing completely. And I can assure you, this is not an issue with the project itself because I have been able to load the same project within Blender 4.0 and 4.3. And this project ran very smoothly on those versions. And even in 4.5, it runs smoothly up until the point I turned on Vulkan. So yeah, while Vulkan is going to be a huge game changer in the future, currently it's not properly integrated within Blender. And I will tell you that if you are going to switch to the newer version of Blender, I would suggest that hold off from using Vulkan just yet. This also brings me to my next point and that is slower texture loading. While within this update, it's supposed to make the whole process of texturing faster. At the moment, while this update is being developed, the texture loading is actually slower. And so if you want, you can switch to this newer version, but do not rely a lot on this newer version for texturing and uh, material preview facilities. I will suggest that if you have to texture and model some objects within Blender, then do that within the older version and then bring that older version project into the newer version. Because the material preview is slow, slow, that if you actually try to work with the material preview of 4.5, you will waste a lot of time. So yeah, stick to the texturing of the older versions 
for now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, this new version is great, but I would suggest that if your projects can be completed within the older version, then I will suggest that for now, stick to the older version up until we get the full release of Blender 4.5. But if you really do want to give this new version a shot, then just steer away from Vulkan. Don't use the Vulkan setting. And also try to do your texturing work within the Blender older versions because this newer version doesn't work with textures very well for whatever reason. Especially high quality textures. So yeah, if you have any opinions, leave them down in the comments below and I hope you have a good one.